हेलो हेलो अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल वाचिंग दिस फेसबुक लाइव सेशन फ्रॉम द ऑफिशियल फेसबुक पेज ऑफ इग्नो रीजनल सेंटर कोचिन ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ इग्नो रीजनल सेंटर कोचिन myself dr prasita unnikrishnan warmly welcome you all to this facebook live session on igno admissions for july 2020 session specially focusing on social work journalism discipline programs the purpose of this session is to give you an idea about igno and its programs for the july 2020 admission cycle with specific focus on social work and journalism discipline learning as you all know is a continuous process and with igno it can be said that one can never stop learning hence to continue with this lifelong learning process let me share with you some of the historical perspectives of igno Igno was established by an act of parliament in the year 1985 and has continuously striven to build an inclusive society through inclusive education however to democratize higher education and as per the recent initiatives by MHRD government of in India Igno has tried to increase the gross enrollment ratio by offering high quality teaching through open and distance learning mode in fact the university began by offering two academic programs way back in 1987 that is diploma in management and diploma in distance education and today it serves the educational aspirations of over 3 million students in india through 21 school of studies and a network of 67 regional centers It is a matter of pride to share with all of you that Igno has also been awarded the Center of Excellence and sent an excellence for distance education materials by the Commonwealth of Learning. Over the years, Igno has lived up to the country's expectation of providing education to the marginalized sections of the society. Free of cost education is being provided to all jail inmates across the country and a large number of scst students have also been admitted to various programs of the university thus igno sticks to its mandate of taking education to the doorstep of the learners so the next question which comes to our mind is why to choose igno as our mode of study the reasons are many however some of the specific reasons are we have flexible admission rules wherein we have the flexibility in choosing the courses which we want to study we the electives which we want to study and admissions to all our programs are presently through online mode we also have a flexibility with respect to the place pace and duration of our study and our student support services are spread across india through our 67 regional centers and our around 3000 learner support centers all over the india our study materials have also been digitized and all the study materials of igno are available in the e gyan kush of the igno website www.igno.ac.in 
or you can also access uh, our digitalized study materials uh, in eGyankosh directly by going to the link egyankosh.igno.ac.in. So compared to the uh, similar programs you pursue in a regular mode, our programs are considered to be very cost effective. We also have a modular approach to many a programs. For example, if you apply to our MCOM program, completion of first year leads to a PG DIBO degree. So a student who doesn't want to pursue second year MCOM program, he, uh, he can or if he just wants to have one degree, he will definitely after completing first year get a postgraduate diploma in business organization. So this is the modular approach to the various programs which IGNO follows. So how IGNO supports the learners? Our uh, IGNO network is spread all across India and is offered through our 67 regional centers. Our academic programs are, uh, are spread across India and we have three regional centers in Kerala itself and they are Cochin, Trivandrum and Vadagara. The Cochin Regional Center was the first regional center to be established in Kerala to provide open and distance learning in the state of Kerala and Union Territory of Lakshadweep. Later, as our network of students grew in Kerala, Regional Center Trivandrum was established in 2009 to cater to the southern part of Kerala, while Regional Center, uh, while Regional Center Vadagara was established in 2011 to cater to the northern part of Kerala. IGNO Regional Center Cochin was established in November 1988 and caters to six districts of Kerala, mainly Ernakulam, Trishur, Palakkar, Kottayam, Idiki, Alapura and the Union Territory of Lakshadi. Now how does a student study with IGNO? The methodology of instruction, if you all see in this university, is far different from that of conventional universities. The open university system is more learner oriented and the learner is an active participant in the teaching learning process. The university follows a multimedia approach for instruction and is mainly done through self-learning materials. However, for self-learning materials, it can be said that the teacher is embedded within the book and the materials are written in such a format wherein the learners can study on his own or do self-study. Further, counseling sessions are also provided through study centers to all learners. However, for the students who are registered in July 2019 and January 2020 session, the counseling sessions due to the current pandemic uh, period is being provided through the online mode. Further, if you choose a program which has a practical or a project work or an internship component, then the same has also to be pursued for completing your program with IGNO. As far as the assessment that IGNO is concerned, it can be said that the system of evaluation in IGNO is different from that of conventional universities and IGNO has a multi-tier system of evaluation which is mainly through self-assessment exercises within each unit of study. Our continuous evaluation is mainly through assignments and term and examinations. Assignments comprise of 25 to 30 percent weightage in the final evaluation while term and examinations have 70 percent weightage in final evaluation. In fact, a student who scores well in assignments has a very good chance of scoring good marks in the final evaluation of IGNO. However, a very important point which needs to be noted here is that a students need to pass both the components that is the assignments and term and examinations separately to complete the program successfully. Further, if your chosen subject has a field work or an internship component, then the same also would be evaluated as per the assessment pattern of the concerned program. Now let me also take you to all to the admission process. 
Admissions of IGNO are offered in mainly two uh, cycles, that is two sessions, that is the July admission cycle and the January admission cycle. Admissions are presently open for the July 2020 cycle and the last date is 31st of July 2020. IGNO offers both short term and long term programs leading to certificate, PG certificate, diploma, degrees and postgraduate programs which are both conventional as well as innovative. Most of the programs on offered by IGNO have been developed after an initial survey of the demand of such programs. They have been launched mainly to fulfill the learner's need for certification, improvement of skills, acquisition of professional qualifications, professional development of workplace, self-enrichment and updation of knowledge. So we have an array of programs on offer under IGNO and for all the list of programs you can also refer to our common prospectus July 2020 which is already uploaded on our main IGNO website www.igno.ac.in. Under IGNO Regional Centre Cochin, there are 78 programs presently activated and the programs are offered through our 34 st uh, student support se uh, centres under Regional Centre Cochin. Some of the very prominent programs which I would just like to highlight for the benefit of all who are watching this session is we have a BA General program, we have a BA Honours program, BSc program, BCOM, BCA, BSW. Our BTS program has been renamed as BA Vocational Studies and Tourism Management. One of the very famous programs uh, at Regional Centre Cochin is the MA Psychology program which has a huge demand in itself. Other uh, important programs are like MBA, MCA, MA level programs especially in English, Political Science, Sociology are all uh, having a good demand at our regional centre. Similarly, at the certificate level, the certificate in Functional English, the certificate in Food and Nutrition program are all uh, programs which can also be taken as an add-on program along with your existing programs. The specific list of programs at Certificate, Diploma, PG Diploma, Bachelors and Master's level has been shown in the uh, table. Certificate pro uh, level programs are basically 6 month duration programs which can be completed in a maximum period of 2 years. There are various certificate level programs like Certificate in Disaster Management, Certificate in Environmental Studies, Certificate in Business Skills. Certificate in Functional English program. Uh, these are all some programs which are of interest to our learners. And there are various diploma level programs like DNHE, Diploma in Tourism Studies, Diploma in Creative, English, creative Writing in English, the Diploma in uh, HIV and Family Education program. The Diploma and Certificate programs can be taken as an add-on program along with the existing programs which you are pursuing with IGNO or in case you are interested in pursuing uh, the same, the same can also be done separately. There are various master's level and bachelor's degree program which is also shown in the table. The certificate diploma programs can again as I said before can be opted as an add-on programs along with your existing program to improve upon your knowledge, skills and employability prospects. IGNO admissions are specifically done through the IGNO Samarth portal or that is the link for IGNO admissions for the students who are interested in applying online uh, to our IGNO programs. They should apply using the link which is given on the uh, screen ignoadmission.samarth.edu.in or you may visit our IGNO website www.igno.ac.in and go to the register online and click on fresh admissions. Here I would also like to mention that we have an online help guide which is uploaded on our regional centre coaching website 
www.rccochin.igno.ac.in in which a detailed presentation is given on how you can apply to our IGNO programs. Request all learners or though all who are viewing this Facebook live session to kindly go through our Regional Centre Cochin website and please go through this presentation which is uploaded on the home page itself and they get an idea as to how they can actually apply to our IGNO programs through an online mode. Further, it is also informed that an SCST Further, it is also informed that an SCST fee exemption is also available to all learners who are who wish to apply for our various certificate, diploma and undergraduate programs of IGNO. The fee exemption is available with a certain guidelines which are available 